just when you couldn't think it could get any better? It does. It really does. <laughs> Translator here at AVN 2018, Julianne, standing right next to me. Julia, how are you today? I'm really good. How are you? Good. How are you holding up? Up. Oh, well, um, let's see. I'm 48, so I'm holding up pretty good. I well, think. Well, no, I meant, I meant oh, for oh. tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mistake. Don't look a day I'm over 20. Good. Oh, <laughs> that's when you know you're getting older is when they lie. <laughs> how, how old do I look right now? 16. Just kidding. No, it's true. I have a baby face, so she's completely right and accurate. That if I were to shave this off, I am back to my high school years. <laughs> Uh, something I'm always interested in when I come to events like this, like at the Exotica in November, first time I ever did that. So yes. I always want to get the talent's pers perspective on something. Yeah, when you come here and you go to events like this and you meet your fans, and they engage with you, and you talk to them, you take photos with them. What's it like from the performer standpoint? Is it is it a humbling experience? Is it more overwhelming at times? What, what do you usually feel when you interact with your fans? Um, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends from fan to fan. Sometimes it's it's humbling. Sometimes. It's emotional. Sometimes it's annoying. I mean, it like like honestly, it depends. It, it kind of, it all depends on on how the person engages us, I guess. But for the most part, it's nice. It's we're as entertained as they are. You know, I, I'm as entertained as as somebody walking up. It's it's a nice time, and and it's fun to know that people like your work and. Um, you know, it's nice to be able to put a, a name and a face together because now with social media, we often talk to people, but we don't really get that personal one-on-one. -on -one. So sometimes people walk up and they're like, I'm so-and-so, and this is my Twitter handle. And you're like, hey! So it's sort of nice to do that now that social nice. media is alive. Yeah. It's not about social media. I mean, you're obviously using it. You're active on it. Most people have to be nowadays in order to get, you know, yeah. in touch with your fan base out there. Yeah. Uh, in terms of for you and branding yourself, I mean, you've made a, a successful name of your brand. Uh, so, what is the social media just an extra tool to kind of extend that further? Yeah, I mean, if it's if used correctly, it has its challenging uh, aspects for sure. Though I think it's um, which somebody said Pandora's box, and now you know it's got its good thing points to it, but it's been open and it's now kind of out of control, and so. Yeah, it can be kind of overwhelming at times. Yeah, it can be a really great tool if used correctly, but then it can be very damaging if not. Now, we in the High Spot Podcast, we cover the world of professional wrestling. I don't know, is that something you've, you've been aware of? Do you watch professional wrestling? Do you see it from time to time? Like uh, WWE, stuff like that? That's professional wrestling? That's professional wrestling, yes. Okay. Uh, you know, I haven't followed um, wrestling since uh, Ultimate Warrior. Okay. Very nice. So he was basically the guy you were you were he looking at. It. I had the Ultimate Warrior T-shirt. I had face. the flag. I had the pillow. I had the little pencil topper. <laughs> That's right, I did. Uh, one final one for me here. I mean, with with the business being the way it is, I usually compare professional wrestling in the adult film industry in a way and people are kind of wondering why but again when you look at professional wrestling from my perspective and people who don't know much about it it's very it's very competitive I mean everybody's out there for TV time everybody's out there for a particular moment in the sun not everybody can get there so it's very competitive it's very cutthroat in this business here in the adult film industry I know every business is competitive but what would you say uh, from your experience the adult film industry has been like is it as competitive as people might think or, or is everybody kind of trying to help each other out in a way I myself I I don't know. I don't compete. I never have. I do my job, and either people like it or they don't. <laughs> so, I I really don't have any interest uh, in any sort of competition. So I I don't see that side of it because I guess I, I don't engage that side of it. Well, 2017 is over. We're now in the new year. Uh, any plans for yourself? Not necessarily with your work, but maybe some personal goals you hope to accomplish in 2018. Yes, I hope to get into the gym more. <laughs> I think that's everybody's New Year's resolution that kind of dies after two weeks. <laughs> I have to, though. I just don't have a choice. <laughs> I just have to do something. I do. I'm becoming one with the... One wouldn't, with wouldn't it be so boring, fun. though? Like, a lot of people turn like, to yoga or Pilates or just, like, CrossFit and stuff like that. Would that be something that interests you? Because it can be pretty boring going to a gym for an hour on a treadmill or, you know, working out with weights. Uh, you know, I don't know. I kind of enjoy it, you know, just kind of in my own space where yoga, I feel like somebody's like, you know, she doesn't do that pose very well. I do it kind way better. Dog. Look at this. Oh, I'm way better than you. <laughs> well, 
Julia, with your schedule being as busy as you are and doing things, what do you do to unwind? What do I do to unwind? I, I, I uh, cuddle with my dogs. Nice. And catch up on sleep, maybe? You know what? I have no problem with sleep. I do not need to catch up God on bless it. you for that. <laughs> Well, Julia, we appreciate your time. It's really greatly appreciated by me. Uh, so I just want to just involve and in, in include you in a special group here in Vegas. It's Vegas. Got to go big in Vegas. So basically, if you put these two fingers up like this and touch, if you would indulge me, because I'm going to include you in a special group, and this is initiation. By doing that now, you're a part of the High Spot Podcast, Jersey Reagan Crew. And what that means is, with all our followers watching, we're going to be behind you, we're going to support you, and we're always going to have your back. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it.